Yay! Yay! <laughs> Alright, let me just pull it up on YouTube so I can look at the chat better, because I'm not going to be paying attention to Streamlabs. I don't know why, I just prefer to actually see the chat. Looks good. Alright, let's do this. That was really, that's really bright. <laughs> Looking at the playback, that's ridiculously bright. That's funny. That's better. Hi! I hope everything's good. Coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we want to destroy humans first, or... Okay, so that's the target. Actually, you know... Let's just... Excuse me! Alright, everything looks pretty good right now. It's a typical stream fuzz at this point. Nom, 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 nom. Really, it's the game I'm worried about, honestly. It's a shame that human and shark must so often meet. Okay. Everything looks good. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. No. Eh. Aha. Um while you're here and watching, uh, can you put in the Discord, can you, like, link the the stream into the Discord server, please? So Jose and Skyler know that I'm streaming. Hey, get, 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 Oh god. Oh no. Thank you. Let me... It is that hard to find. Hushy yo face. That didn't work. Thank you. Is that it? The powers of society have retaliated with determined action. I said to them, you better build that boardwalk high. Because you just asking for a shark attack how you got it now. But do they listen to me? Oh, not at all. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So, dear stream, the uh, there's something I would like to discuss. <laughs> Keep working at it. You got this. So, stream, something I wanted to discuss. Discuss. Wow. Alright. I can't speak, I guess. Um. The, uh. However you want to pronounce it Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden, whatever. I'm gonna. A lot of people pronounce it Gaiden, so that's what I'm gonna do on YouTube. And then when I'm talking to, like, family and stuff, we've always pronounced it, uh, the other way, so that's how I pronounce it in front of family and junk so they know what I'm talking about. So, uh, the uh, Ninja Gaiden Master Collection has been released. Very mixed reviews I'm seeing. A lot of people were saying it's a very lazy port, and I thought people were talking like it's lazy just because, you know, it's it's 
it doesn't have like um different things in junk like it doesn't have different like visual settings in junk uh but no I, I did a little bit more research into it and it's they literally just didn't add anything new it's literally just uh ninja <laughs> gordon maybe. uh oh i crashed into something it's literally just um from what i've seen that they added it's literally just like it's just base Sigma 1, Sigma 2, and Razor's Edge. But uh, with, I believe, Sigma 2 or uh, Sigma 1. Excuse me. They uh, added some things from Sigma Plus in there. The uh, the PSP version. I believe it's PSP version. The PSP, I don't remember. Um, and then that's really it. Um, I still want to get it even though people say that the sigma versions were the inferior versions i still want to experience the sigma versions because uh ninja gaiden 2 is one of my favorite games ever it's here in the grotto that the um, discover the absolute serenity so i want to at least experience the sigma version just to you know see what it's all about in junk that and like i don't i personally don't mind which version I'm playing, I just want to play the game. Um, I very much enjoyed Razor's Edge, though, so I'm very happy that they included that version. So. I'm very happy that that was included. A lot of people say... Oop, oh, no. Where'd you go? A lot of people... Uh, we're saying that Razor's Edge, like, as much as it improved upon the original Ninja Gaiden 3, uh, it still wasn't that good. Like, some people were saying it still wasn't very good, despite the fact that it's, in, I want to say, objective improvement upon the original Ninja Gaiden 3. Um... Uh, so, I don't, I've lost my train of thought <laughs> completely. Um, I am very happy that they included Razor's Edge instead of uh, Vanilla Ninja Gaiden 3. Because I probably would have been upset if, uh, since they, they took away my gore and everything from Ninja Gaiden 2 with Sigma, I would have been very upset if they also did that for, if they included the original Ninja Gaiden 3. So we just, either way, wouldn't have our gore. Which, that's, like, my favorite part of the game is, you know, especially with Ninja Gaiden 2, walking in there with, like, the tonfas, tonfas, however you pronounce them, walking into a room and just, or the, the lunar staff, walking into a room and just absolutely painting it red. It was, it's my favorite part of the game. Honestly, to see this area is to witness the it, I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm kind of glad that uh, they added Razor's Edge into the game, or into the Master Collection. Uh, yeah, I, I still plan on getting it. Fish, it's Hoswe. Hello. But um, I'm I'm still planning on getting it. Because uh, I personally, right now, having not played it yet, don't care which version of uh, Ninja Gaiden is on PC. I wouldn't be saying the same thing if it was Vanilla 3. Uh, all I care about is um, that it's on PC. Sorry, I got a text. Okay. But back. I still have water. I still have water. Cool. But, um... I, I understand people's complaints with the, uh, the Sigma version of Ninja Gaiden 2. Uh, I do think it's really stupid that instead of, uh... You know, making the enemies more difficult and everything... 
or by uh, the way they did it. It's bioelectric with bone. Yeah, you can mix all the uh, all of the um, the armors and stuff. I typically go like full bioelectric, but because I don't have the uh, bioelectric head or uh, tail yet, I just I'll just do bone just to add some extra armor. And it still gives you the little effect boy when you dodge or jump. Alright. Get out of here. Yeah, you're a kid. But, um, with, uh, with the Sigma version of Ninja Gaiden 2, for example, they decreased the enemy count and made them take more damage, which I think is really, really dumb. Because that's just artificial difficulty at that point. And they say, oh, well, the, 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 the PlayStation 3 couldn't handle it. Then it is a good combo. If the PlayStation 3 couldn't handle the more enemy count on screen or the gore from Ninja Gaiden 2, then why... Why was it able to handle Razor's Edge? I I feel like they're coming up with excuses to just be lazy with their port. And honestly, I say I I think they were lying. I don't think the source code for uh for wh whatever they said for uh, for Ninja Gaiden 2. I don't think the original version was irreparable you know if they still probably could have found a way to do it you know to remake the game and if they if they didn't then like if they weren't lazy they could have just um they could have just basically completely redid the game honestly i would have taken like a proper pc port of Ninja Gaiden 2 over the Sigma versions because and I, I haven't played it yet but I heard like it, it feels so much different than the original version of the game just it, it I don't know people are saying it feels like clunky or odd I don't know it's not as smooth and everything and uh, fluid as the original but that's that's my rant of, uh, of Ninja Gaiden 2 in that game any as a whole over with uh i think with the interest of uh i think uh with the interest of the master collection and everything being put out on pc switch ps4 whatever everything else uh I think with the interest of it being put out and so many people, you know, buying it and playing it, whether it be for the first time or because they want to play it on the new system or whatever, I think if we get enough people to care about the game, I think the developers are going to start caring about the game again because it's pretty obvious. Uh, at least it feels obvious to me that uh, Team Ninja just does not care about this franchise anymore. Even though, you know, it's... I don't know. It... You take off my, nigo my uh, nostalgia goggles for a sec. Um, aside from the fact that it's like one of my favorite games ever, uh, it's a great game. It's... There's no other hack and slash quite like it at least that i know of or that i've played maybe i don't know how to properly stock and manage a fish i don't know but it's a learning process i don't know that's my rant I've done and over with i'm still gonna play the game though let's be brutally honest here i'm still gonna play it Hey, get out of here. Fishy. Gorsh. 
All right, what are we working with now? There's a target there. It's a hammerhead. We can go that way. Which way is it? What is that? Oh, it's a thingy. Get, go. There we go. Great. So, enough talking about that game. Let's discuss this game. It is Sharky. I got the cash. And he didn't think I was going to say it that time. Did ya? Did ya? Where am I going? It's my seal. Yeah, uh... Anthem, I played a little bit of Anthem. It was okay. Uh, I never got into it, but I mean, if you like it, power to you. I don't, I'm not gonna... Unless, like, you know, it's widely agreed upon. I'm not gonna, well, even then, I'm not gonna, like, tell somebody that their favorite game is crap. You know? Like, if somebody... If somebody likes, like, Destiny or something like that, I'm not gonna tell them... Well, even... I I'm using Destiny as an example because a lot of people don't like it. I don't know why. I played a little bit of Destiny. And it's, it's not that bad. But, um... I just... I like letting people have their opinion when it comes to games. So, like, back to, back to Ninja Gaiden. If you like the Sigma version, it's better. Cool. I hope one day you get to play Vanilla 2, or Vanilla Black. But why is there water in this skate park, huh? That's so bizarre. Did somebody, like, flood it or something like that? And, like, at that, why would you do that? That's so weird. Did it, like, rain a lot? Oh, it probably rained a lot. Gameplay like I yeah, I remember uh, early in the promotions they were comparing it to like they were comparing the the suits to like Iron Man suits and stuff. And from like the tiny bit that I played, yeah, that's pretty accurate. It just there there's not much to do in that game. It's really like it feels really recycled sometimes. I don't know. I don't know how to put it. But if, if you enjoy the game, go for it. You go ahead and play it. You play it until you get sick of it. And then wait a few days and play it again. But they don't give you no scholarships for winning no big L real jam. Oh, wait, is that an easy way to get it? Uh, whoa, huh? Oh. <laughs> Bring it! Yeah! I gotta get my uh, my threat up pretty well in order to fight the next hunter. I think that's what the game wants me to do. I uh, I genuinely have no clue what the game wants me to do. I'm stuck in that little that spot again where it's just yeah. Yeah, um, I don't think they're gonna, like, remake the game. They could possibly add in, like, DLC missions or whatever, but, um, I don't know. It's, it's a weird situation when games copy other games, because, like, uh, let me think of an example. Like, uh, Black Ops 3 copying, uh, pretty much copying Titanfall's movement system. I mean, I, I know Titanfall probably wasn't the first game to do wall running, or maybe it was, and I don't know. But it felt like it really copied Titanfall's wall running, and it, it didn't come out that good. 
or it's just his movement in general. So when games like copy other games or uh like base their games off of other stuff, it can turn out bad. But I feel like if done right, uh, a copy of Anthem's uh, movement and suits and junk could make for a really good game, a really good Iron Man game. Actually, that could be awesome. So, I think that'd be really cool if they took like a. Uh, the the suits and junk from Anthem and then just like took away uh like the third person well like tweaked the third the third person shooting and junk and just made it an Iron Man game. That'd be really cool. Oh god, what happened? <laughs> what was that? Boat just went flying. Drag them under. I like drowning them like that, it's fun. Which is weird to say, and I am... I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty, it's just neat that in the game you could drown them. Hey. Come here. Oh, incoming. Whee! How quickly Port Clovis takes up arms in the name of a murderous cause. Oh, I need to get my level up to six and mm. they could use some help with their shark situation. Oh, I didn't know there was a new Transformers game coming out. Oh, is it the uh is it that mobile game that's coming out? That are made by the Oh there is. Butcher Boy Brady. Is it that uh that Transformers game that's coming out for mobile that's made by the same people who made Pokemon Go? That's real. It it seemed interesting, and then it, it kind of started looking like they're just making Pokemon Go, but with Transformers. But honestly, though, like if I'm if it's a different game that you're saying, that that sounds really cool. Where is the hunter I am after? Is he's probably in the big boat? Oh, that's a small fishing boat, huh? That's cool. Oh, yep, he's there. Oh, so it is a different one they're they're making. Interesting. Very interesting. I that might be cool. That might be really cool. Oh, there we go. The marine predator displays caution. I got the bioelectric body. I'm gonna once I get safe, I'm gonna trade that out. I think, in terms of Transformers games, there hasn't been a good one since. Still in the works. Beta. Oh, open beta. Nice. Uh, there hasn't been a good Transformers game in a while since. I'll say since Devastation. Devastation was really good. Oh my gosh, that game was awesome. Uh, I'm trying to get figures of all the characters from that game. So far, I'm only missing Sideswipe, and I want to get the Kingdom Sideswipe so badly. Originally, I was, like, hunt, trying to hunt down, basically, a Siege Sideswipe, but I couldn't find one. And then they announced uh, the Kingdom Sideswipe in the two-pack with, uh, uh, I think it was Beast Wars the Second Skywarp or something like that. And I don't really, like, that figure looks cool. Uh... I'm not too into it though, so I'll probably end up giving it to somebody. Uh, unless I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah. Um, I want to get that sideswipe. I want to see. Whoa. 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 This is cool. Look at that. We're like deep ocean now. Look at that. Concentrations of metals and hydrocarbons in the water show just how much the Gulf has progressed since Amerigo Vespucci first arrived here in 1497. 
Look at that. That's no really dead. cool. Maybe found in a shark stomach. It's true. I'll take it if you don't want it. Yeah, sure. Um, whichever one of us. I don't want to say whichever one of us comes up with the money first can buy the two pack and the other one gets the one that the other one wants. But I mean, if you want to do it that way, we can. I'm not going to say do it that way. It's whatever you want to do. Uh, the pre orders are up on Amazon right now. The deep down dark, deep down. <laughs> but uh, right now, ooh, big whale. That's cool. I hope that's not hostile. It was, but I didn't attack it yet. That's cool. I think uh, the apex of this area is going to be a big whale. Uh, man, I wish I could speak whale. Uh, but, um, yeah, the pre-orders for the Kingdom Sideswipe are up on uh, Amazon. I, I saw it somewhere, though, and it, it was like 50-something dollars for some reason. For some reason, uh, I think Amazon is allowing this for some bizarre reason. Alright, so we've got the bone body and the bioelectric body. We're gonna hit bioelectric body. Um, but uh, the pre-orders, I don't know if it's Hasbro doing this or uh, Amazon just being weird. Look at that. Like, hang on, let's just look at the color combos real quick. That looks cool. <laughs> well go. That looks really cool though. I like that a lot. That looks nice. Do I have... Nope. Hmm, yawn. Alright, I don't have the uh, bioelectric head or tail yet. I think you get the bioelectric stuff from clearing all the hunters. I believe, if I'm correct. Alright, I guess... This is good, because this is just, like, ramming power and junk with my head. So this is good. Jeez, um, this is really cool. Like, usually, you know, in my last stream, I was freaking out over the SeaWorld area, but... I mean... Just listen to the ambience here. That is... Beautiful. That eye, though. Yeah. Yeah, the eyes are weird. Just listen to the ambience with this, though. It's beautiful. With all the whales and stuff. Oh my gosh. I love. I love ocean sounds. Let's go to the top. Oh, that's pretty. God, that's so pretty. Hey, I'm trying to admire the scenery. You just get. <laughs> Where'd he go? I don't know. He's dead now. Yeah, the sound in this game is absolutely incredible. Oh, I want to swim next to the whale, but I think it's hostile. Yeah, let's swim next to the whale. It's hostile! It's hostile! It's generally believed that a shark never sleeps. Actually, uh, Jerry from Vo Voice Narrator Jerry, um, Great Whites do sleep. At least I heard that uh, Great Whites sleep. I, uh, I remember hearing that somewhere in a, a video about sharks. It was cool. It was pretty neat to find out. Yeah! I wish this game had, like, odd comparison, but like a Pokedex for the fish you ate. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. I don't think it does. Wow, nine meters, jeez. But like a Pokedex for the fish you ate. So like you know which fish you have and haven't eaten yet. That'd be really cool. <laughs> yeah. 
That hammerhead just like that went real far though. <laughs> it was funny. God, this game is so pretty. They sleep, but they keep moving. Yeah. Uh. So. Sh sharks in general, uh, minus a few species, need to keep moving to survive so they can circulate the water through their gills to create oxygen for them. Uh. So yeah, they literally need to keep moving in order to survive. Um, and they also can't back up. And But that's fine, because they have basically no spine. Uh, if I remember correctly, the shark's only bones is, like, its jaws. And that's really it. Uh, so, since sharks can't back up, and they literally don't have a spine, they could just fold. Which is funny. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. So I thought that was really neat that uh to share with everybody. I like finding like obscure shark facts to share with the stream. I just I think it adds to the fun of it all. Cause you know, what's the point of playing a game as a shark and not talking about sharks? This game is so pretty. I can't get I can't get over how good this game is. I love hearing the whale sounds in the background. That that's really cool. That's it for today. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on Bit dollar drafts. Alright. Well I'll see ya. Good night, Fwimmed. Ooh. That's creepy. That looks like some weird alien something. But alright. I find that very interesting. Why am I yawning? It's so weird. Yep. Uh, sorry if you heard me. Slurping and junk. Uh. I've been extremely thirsty, like, all day. I'm moving so slow right now because I'm kind of just trying to enjoy the atmosphere. And I'm moving so much in my chair right now because I'm looking at the, uh, the playback. And I'm trying not to sit in a really weird and awkward looking way. So, uh, random side note. What do y'all think of a Kingdom Cyclonus review? <laughs> Coming up soon. Uh, I was thinking either Kingdom Cyclonus or uh, Kingdom Warpath. That is if my dad will let me borrow his Cyclonus because uh, we got him Cyclonus for his birthday back in March. And so I asked him if I could borrow it considering I'm already borrowing his webcam. And he said that's fine. So at some point this week or this weekend I'm probably going to do the review on Cyclonus there's a great white over there so yeah we'll see what happens This is going to be a bit difficult. You have to kill ten of these. The Cyclonus review is going to be on my Transformers review channel, obviously. Uh, just quick opportunity to plug that, I guess, real quick. <laughs> Get the attention of another one. It's just an absolute swarm of them over here. It's less uh, getting the attention of them and more just like chipping away at the health of all of them. 
Because I don't want to be doing this for like 20 minutes. You know? Where did he go? He's gone. So, uh, random thing popped in my head. Was there like megalodons for other species of sharks? Because we usually just see like megalodons that look like uh here in the Gulf mostly consists of hammerhead sharks. That's weird. But uh we usually only see uh in uh different depictions of in media and uh in books and junk and whatever we usually only see uh megalodons that look like great whites so was there like i mean obviously there probably wasn't like a sand shark or something of a megalodon but was there like tiger sharks or bull sharks that were megalodons does anybody know that that'd be really cool if there was you know what else would be really cool? Uh, a boss fight of large shark in this game. That would be really cool. Like, you complete the game, and then there's, like, a little extra thingy you could do to go... Hey! Hey! Where did you come from? I just appeared in here, and you go and shoot me. What did you think was going to happen? Shark? Supercharged altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. But, um, yeah, do you, that'd be a really cool boss fight. So, uh, back to Transformer stuff, though. Um, <sighs> I'm sorry I'm yawning so much. I don't know why, I guess I'm tired or something, I don't know. But, uh, Back to Transformers stuff. Uh, if I can't do uh, Cyclonus, because I either don't ask my dad if I could borrow his, or uh, he says I can't borrow it at the time, uh, which is not likely, or I just decide I really want to do the Warpath figure, I'm probably going to do Warpath. I believe those sewer lines need work. I have a but. Campylobacteriosis, Cryptosporidiosis, Leptospirosis. Let me tell you, partner, that ain't no joke. I still have no idea what accent that's from. Or uh, where that accent is from. Still have no clue. Oh, it's the Titanic reference! This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. Hmm. Did it follow its original voyage, though, is my question. Because then we can actually kind of pinpoint where this game takes place. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to... Oh, my God. Fine, I'll fight you. Bye-bye. Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> he was just like, ah. That's funny. That's dead, though. That's fine. I would love to uh, talk to like a form of a sort of a marine biologist in chat or whatever, if they were ever to like show up in the chat or whatever. Uh, oh, orca, that's bad. Uh, and just kind of chat with them about shark. <gasps> SpongeBob reference. Sea sponges demand for pineapple homes has sparked massive deforestation throughout Costa Rica. Look at it, it's even got the windows. Sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their buying decisions. It's even got the little Oh, I love this SpongeBob house. Oh, that's so cool. I forgot that's in the game. I got I'm so excited about that. That's really cool. Oh, I missed. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll just go over here then.
Ooh, that was a cool effect. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. I'd really like to discuss like shark things with, you know, a marine biologist or something like that in the chat. Maybe not over a call because I don't want to risk screwing up the call because of the stream and everything. Because I don't know how good or how bad my uh, my network is. So that's a factor. I think I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. So oh, I forgot this game has like a day-night cycle kind of thing. Oh, that's so cool. No, I didn't want to breach. Oh, oh, look at that. That's so nice. Oh, hey. How's it going? I was just rambling about sharks again. Now remember, people, there is a five second delay between uh, when I read my when I read your chat and uh, when you see me read your chat. So. Guess we all got different ideas about summer fun, yeah. So there's a little bit of a delay between. Uh, when I read the chat and when the stream says I read the chat or when you see me read the chat so god this is wow I wish my shark looked normal <laughs> there's eventually a thing you could put on your shark that uh, keeps um, that keeps hostile creatures from and just randomly attacking you the bull shark is nine so I might uh, when I finish the game and I have that unlocked I might I'm honestly thinking about doing a video where I just turn that on and I just swim around for a bit no uh, webcam no microphone nothing I just swim around for a bit just pure ocean Fixed your seal purse. What happened to it? Gold fixtures, two discos, circular staircases, and a mosaic swimming pool. The Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht. Uh, it's kill ten hammerheads. It's literally just kill ten, ten hammerheads. Either way. All right, cool. Get out of here, Orca. Oh no, it's a great way. All right, here, go, go over there. Nobody wants you. Yeah, here. Am I on a wire? I'm on a wire. Okay. Oh, invisible wall. Thanks. Appreciate that. What are you? Are you still? Oh, I thought it was the. I thought it was the great white that I just threw over there. The battle not. is over, but the war goes on. So, swimming. Yeah, I'm strongly considering, uh, just doing a video of me just swimming through this spot specifically. Just in the Gulf, I think it is. Am I in the Gulf? Yeah, just swimming through the Gulf. Uh, I might turn off the music, I'll turn off my microphone, just to get, like, swimming around and just the sea ambience and everything. Because this game is really, really pretty. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, it should work. Hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane. Planet 
No, 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 no. No, get out of here, whale! Okay, you know. Yeah, here. <laughs> Your lips are chapped. I uh, yeah, they usually are. Who's the target? Oh, it's an orca. All right, yeah, we can kill the orca. Hey, friend. No. Get. It. What are you? Wait, no, don't. Hey. Hey. Okay, you need to... Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're very often chapped. Yeah! I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> nope, wrong fish. I like the music that plays. For this. Uh, I say because uh, your lips are always trapped. This is the boring part of the game. You know, when you gotta eat a bunch of things that aren't like one shot which I don't understand why anything wouldn't be one shot in this game is that an albino is not an albino I need to get out of here this place is crawling with scary what now check that out that's uh, destroy a sea boat that's or yeah that's destroy a fishing boat that's kill more hammerheads perfect you know what? You know what? What do you say? Mm. Hey, I got a like on the stream. Thank you. Whoever that was. Do do do. So I was thinking about the games that I want to do uh, after I finish this one. Like, I, I want to stream, like, in this kind of way. After this one. And I was thinking... Oh! No! Don't say knee. We have the knights that say... Knee! Um, ooh, plane crash. Fort Clovis has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees. <laughs> but, um, I was thinking about, uh, for games to do after this game ends, uh, I could do... <laughs> the knight who says... Nyeh. Um... God, what was the word that they hated? I don't remember the word that they hated. Um, so I was thinking, I paused the game so I could focus and talk about this. Uh, I was thinking after I finish this game, I'll do either Bioshock, Dead Island, or Borderlands 2. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. I'm leaning more towards Bioshock, or, um, or Dying Light. I'm leaning more towards Bioshock, though. I'm not sure, though. Bioshock would be cool, but, uh... Let me, uh... Let 
let me uh, fill you in on a little sh secret about me and Bioshock. Uh, I never finished it. <laughs> I don't know if that was ridiculously loud or not, but uh, in case you couldn't understand what I just said, uh, I've never finished Bioshock. Yeah, we should do a game series on Overcooked. That'd be awesome. Like, just do a bunch of live streams and jump. That would be awesome. Oh, there's a person. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I got really far into Bioshock. Uh... I'm close to the end, but I haven't, like, finished it. It's probably not going to be as long as these streams, because, uh... Actually, no, I did use my controller for Bioshock. Never mind. I was about to say, because, you know, keyboard and mouse and stuff, but I used my controller for Bioshock. Uh, the only one... Why is Weezer fine? Well, Weezer's good. Uh, well, some songs. But, uh... Oh god, what was I saying? Bioshock. Uh... Or... Games in general? I don't know. Oh, right, uh, controller versus keyboard and mouse. Uh... I'd rather not play a game with keyboard and mouse for, like, this long of a period of time. Because I gotta- I have a bad back. And when I'm playing with, uh... When I'm playing with my controller, I can kind of lean back and relax a bit. But when I'm playing with my keyboard, I kind of have to just, like, sit straight up and use my keyboard. Although, that depends on the gold market, which has really been underperforming lately. I blame the Fed, of course, what can you do? Um, yeah, so, that's going to hurt my back if I have to sit up for a really long time with my keyboard. Uh, I do that for Minecraft, though, so it should be fine. The only uh, games I'd really be using my keyboard for would be either Dying Light or Dead Island, because I have discovered that I despise the aim assist in Dead Island, <laughs> because uh, I was I was trying to play the other day with my controller, and I end up aiming at one zombie. I well, I try to shoot one zombie, and. That would be fun. I really want to do a gaming video with you, too. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I was trying to play Dead Island, and I tried to aim at one zombie, and it kept trying to lock on to another one that was, like, two feet away from that one, but it was, like, two feet farther from me. So, I mean, I was above them if I was down there on the floor with them, uh, you know, well, on the same level as them, I should say. Uh... I probably would have died. <laughs> uh, so... I, uh... <laughs> um... Actually, how much of this stuff is left? Um... I tried to aim at one zombie, it locked onto another one. And that frustrated me. So, then I tried playing it with a keyboard and mouse, and it was so much better. You know, <laughs> because he's squeeish. We play with Simon in the background the whole time. Yeah, we can uh, we can try to, you know, keep Simon still. If we're gonna do like a uh, in-person like split-screen kind of co-op game, uh, I'll have to see what I can find with that. We'll have to. We could try something with like one of my emulators or whatever. Which sucks, because that limits my options, because, uh, actually, no, yeah, we can't uh, because we can't do any Star Wars game that I'd like to play, because, uh, YouTube will shut that down real quick, uh, because of the music, and we can't do any, like, Mario games, because, uh, Nintendo wouldn't like that music and everything and uh, I mean we could do like a Street Fighter or like a Mortal Kombat game or something like that but 
Uh, I don't think either of us are any good at fighting games. What is your idea then? Or we could, you know, we could play zombies or something on Black Ops 3, but I don't think split screen would be that fun to keep track of in a video, to be honest. So what's your idea then? It sucks that YouTube is such a pain with its uh, copyright system with songs and junk because I would have done so many playthroughs of uh, different games. Uh, I would have done so many playthroughs of Star Wars games. Uh, you can bring your Switch, plug it into your computer, and stream Switch. Uh, actually, that's not exactly how that works. <laughs> Uh, I thought that was how that works, too, for a little bit, where um, you just plug it in the monitor and you play it through your computer, but no, actually, uh, if you plug it into my, if I plug it into my monitor, uh, it'll just display through my monitor, it doesn't matter if my computer is on or not. Um, it'll display the switch through my monitor instead of displaying my computer. Um... But if you want to play Switch games, I can see what I can do about finding a Switch emulator. Maybe we could play like Smash or something. I don't know. Where did I kill the Apex? You've got Whale. That's funny. I find that funny. Let's try not to get scared by the cutscene this time, though. So. I'm terrible at Smash Bros. I am really terrible at Smash Bros. Uh, speaking of Smash Bros, I'm really terrible at it. Um, this actually might be a scary fight because I'm not that high leveled. I'm max level, I think, but things can go to a higher level than your max level. Which is not good. Switch hands. Multiplayer games. Yeah. Uh, I could see about getting a uh, Switch emulator, and we'll see what we could do there. Uh, if they could put a Switch emulator in RetroArch, that would help me significantly. Because then at that point, we could just have to worry about how to get the games for it and stuff. Alright, let's fight this thing. Woo! Whale! Assassin. The sperm whale. Whale. Let's go. Get some. Why is there another whale there? Yeah, PlayStation is weird to stream off of. Uh, it's it's really uh, what I would recommend unless you know how to stream on other platforms. Or uh, not other platforms. With other systems and stuff. I'd, I'd recommend if you're going to live stream anything, go with uh, PC games. Because it's really easy. You don't have to like buy an external thing. or You don't have to set up like a anything really you could just uh download your recording software of choice i use streamlabs uh and just set it up how you want it and you're good so uh streaming on pc is really easy that's why i do it uh that and i have most of my games on my pc anyways 
so it just makes everything easier. Back in the good old days, the world practically ran on sperm whales. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermacin. Well, that was a good counter. <laughs> you would be honestly if you were to go on youtube uh you'd make just so many bo burnham references and there's nothing wrong with that i love bo burnham he's really really good and it's really funny to see uh who actually is fans of bo burnham like who else is fans of him like i saw uh through what i sent you on instagram today actually the lead singer for the band Famous Last Words. Turns out he's a fan of Bo Burnham. I mean, he covered one of his songs, so I'd assume he's a fan of it. He's also uh, a fan of... <laughs> he's going to be spooky. I liked that episode where he was scaring everybody. It was a great episode. It's just a great show. Um... I'm going to try to stay quiet real quick while the cutscene's playing. But, uh, yeah, it's it, it's really cool to see who's uh, fans of things that I like. So. I also really like the band Famous Last Words. They're really good. <laughs> They're one of my favorite bands. So it was especially cool to see that the singer liked uh, Bo Burnham. That's cool. If this game could load, that would be very nice. Unless we're stuck on one of its loading screens again, that would suck. Alright, we'll just wait a few minutes to see. And... If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We're going to take a bit to look at the chat and see what happens. Probably nothing. I hope you all en are enjoying the stream so far. Even if you're watching post-stream. Ow! I just got a random sharp pain. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. It's. I think it's really done. Here, I'm going to just restart my game. Because it is being dumb face. We're going to have to go into task manager for this biz. End task. Um, yeah, I, I hate that, uh, people are trying to cancel Bo Burnham and are saying all these things about him and even people are, well, okay, I, I, I'm more okay with people saying that they're fans of him now after seeing, uh, Inside. That's really cool. I'm cool with that. Um, you got to see my, uh, wallpaper though, real quick. That was funny. Uh, and my Epic Games library. But, um... It, it's it's weird to see them... Say that they like... That they like Bo Burnham. Be, well, no. Let me, let me try to regain my train of thought here. <laughs> let me try to figure out what I'm trying to say. It's... Yeah, it, it's weird to see them say they like Bo Burnham and they like the special, but they're saying all these bad things about him. It's... It's bad. It was a great special, though. Oh my gosh, Inside was incredible. The music was really good, and... Uh... <laughs> I don't know the proper terms for this. Uh... Some of the, the camera work was really good, and the whole, like, underlying story and everything about it was really, really nice. I'm not trying to sound like... 
pretentious and like overanalyze everything. I don't know if pretentious is the right word, but I use it a lot for people like this. I don't know. I'm not trying to, you know, own or overanalyze. Yeah, you exactly. You can't like Bo Burnham but hate Bo Burnham. Uh the ocean is a fluid and fascinating world. Always changing. I get it in motion. That some people like the new stuff he's putting out. What does the bone body look like? I'm just wondering. Yeah, no. Ooh, wait, actually, that's kind of cool. Uh, I get it. Like, some people are saying, oh, I, I got into him from this new special. And that's fine, but, like, you can't be like, oh, I only like the new special and I hate everything else about him. Like, you can't do that. Well, I mean, you can, I guess, but, like, it just doesn't make any sense. Hopefully we don't get stuck on another loading screen. That'd be nice. There we go. Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? Yes. Uh, I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Well, I didn't get it easy. But when some, some shark take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat before I kill you too. The f*** I say! Hope you got on, girl! We serve a shark ain't to fair tonight! Yeah. I see where you're coming from there. People just, like, randomly... Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I appreciate people Pete now getting interested in Bo Burnham Bush. and everything. But will it be enough uh, to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? <laughs> yeah, I think this is the final boss of the game, and then we just have all this rest of the stuff. So we're gonna beat the final region poisoned, huh? So we're gonna beat the final boss, and then. We're gonna, I guess we're gonna go around and try to unlock everything else after we beat him. Just for a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I want to 100% the game or not in this stream. In this series. Uh, it'd be cool to, I guess. Because I've already done it. Before. So. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's weird seeing, like people who are supposedly like massive fans of Bo Burnham but also are like kind of hating on him and stuff like if you're and trying to cancel him for like the stuff he said earlier in his career and his songs and junk and those kind of like dark humor jokes and stuff but like if you're if you were a fan of him you would know that that's just his comedy like if you were a fan of him you'd uh, accept and appreciate you know, those kind of dark jokes, which I very much like them. So. Hello there, girly. As you can see, I came prepared today. This fight's a lot of fun, if I remember correctly. Oh, I'm gonna fix you up real hurry. I'm gonna hurt you back. I'm gonna wait till he shoots the torpedo, and then I gotta grab it and shoot it at that. I honestly, I still can't figure out what accent he has, like what that's from. I can't, I can't tell. He's got a really weird accent, and I just, I can't tell. Uh, yeah, I can. I just didn't try to fight it. Is there any? Yeah, there's fish nearby to gain health from. That's cool. Shoot. Also unrelated. The Detroit Becomes Series. Uh, Detroit Becomes Human Series. Sorry, I was, my brain didn't work for a second. 
Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, I definitely do want to do a Detroit live stream. Uh, because... Uh, Detroit Become Human is awesome. It is a great game. Uh, I just, I, I think that'd be a lot of fun. It's just some of the scenes are a bit iffy, and I, I don't know if I feel comfortable with uh, showing that on my channel, you know? With, like, the... Uh, Ah, uh, which scene is it? The the one where it's at the uh, the the android club. You know what I'm saying? I just I don't know. I was severely like, well, I know I knew that was a thing, but like, it was kind of weird to to see that for the first time on the playthrough. But honestly. Honestly, it, it might be a lot of fun to do, so I might do it. The Todd scene, no, uh, the scene with uh, with uh, Connor and Hank. With all the uh, androids on display and everything. Shoot. Then I'll be extract for use in dietary supplements and yeah, yeah, yeah. dead ones for Kyle. Yep, I died. <laughs> uh, yeah, the scene with uh, Hank and Connor. It's not bad, though. Yeah, it's just still. I don't know. It's it's weird to me. It made it made me feel a little iffy. But I, I guess I'll just power through it and do the playthrough of Detroit. Why not? It's vital that we extract an absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. Yep. Hey. I'm live streaming. Huh? Yes. Oh, you cleared all it off? No. Oh, just most of it? I just came down because, um... Oh, sweet. It's like still happening. Like half the thing. Yeah. I I got it. I think it's like four or so long. YouTube, if you can see that it's an airsoft gun. I don't think they can. Okay. Just... You got it, you got it. Yeah, it's uh I don't know if it's counting me watching the playback of the stream, but Mackenzie's here too. I don't know, it probably doesn't count me watching the playback then. Why? What was wrong with the new logo? Mackenzie made it. Oh, I thought you said What? I didn't make it. How dare you What is a funny word? Hello there, girlie. As you can see, I came prepared today. All right, let's hope we don't die again. So, what? What's a funny word? I want to hear this funny word. Uh -oh. I'm gonna fix you up real quick. Got you right in my sights. Right, let's try not to die. Just gotta get the timing of grabbing the torpedoes right. Come on. There we go. Weird. That is a funny word. Oh. Oh, nope, I got him. Honestly, I might just stay back and just throw the torpedoes at the ship. Or no, I could just attack it from underwater or something. Just do a lot of damage to the tank. We're the cage. Here. 
Be careful. All right, phase two. Oh, reinforcements. Don't drag us now. So I have to destroy these boats. Fun. Very fun. Looks like our shark. That helped. Oh, getting to the frame drops. That's all right, though. It's not bad. The frame rate's been consistent throughout the stream, at least I think. So, one little frame drop here and uh, just randomly here is no big deal. As long as that doesn't happen again. It, it was just in the game, though, I think, so. As long as it's not in the stream, we should be alright. Shoot! It's bad. Get over here. I think. There we go. Pierre B. All right. Need another torpedo. Come on. Unless you don't fire torpedoes until I finish killing the boats. Which in that case, I mean, okay. Send somebody down there. You got you got <laughs> Alright, there goes one boat. Oh, wait, no, there goes two boats. All right, cool. <laughs> Maybe don't stand on the ledge there. I don't know, just a thought. Did he? There he is. Oh shit! That didn't work. Got you right in my sights. Big boy, you. There we go. I got it. Woo! This game's a lot of fun. Come on. Oh, there we go. I was scared for a second. Nice sort of Jaws reference. Laissez le bon temps rouler. I don't know if this. Oh, no, it's a song from the game. I don't know. I was about to say, I don't know if this song is, like, copyrighted or not, but I'm pretty sure it's just a song from the game, so it's I okay. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental... Yeah! But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people, and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Manny. Yeah, we did it! Woo! It's been a long time since I finished a playthrough on this channel. <laughs> Woo! We did it! Good job, everybody. We did good. I'm proud of us. Alright, let's skip. 
Like credits. I don't know if there's like a post credit scene or something. We did it! Eat, grow, and evolve. Well, I'm already max level. Okay, we were we a hundred percent of the bayou. We're at very small percentages for the for the bay. Uh, the lake is ninety two, shores is ninety eight, the key is eighty one, sands eighty eight, uh, sapphire bay ninety eight. Really cool name by the way. And the gulf is seventy nine. All right. Uh, we can knock a little bit out of this. The shark can discover the absolute serenity. We can knock out a little bit of this. All right, do we have any new evolution things? Wait, is our... Oh, our bioelectric teeth aren't fully upgraded. Whoops! Here we go. Now everything's good. Oh, wait, no, I have shadow teeth on. Um... All right. Oh yeah, this does do more damage. What's I doing here then? Durr. Okay, so I believe we get more bioelectric stuff from killing the uh, the yes. From killing the hunters and stuff. Actually, no. Let's go back here. And see something real quick. Oh, get out of here, rock. Um, let's see, do we have any more of these? What does this do? So that increase so many minerals. Is that uh hostile fish smaller than fifty Okay. So that's basically like all hostile fish are not going to hurt. That's more health. All right, so that's max speed, evade, lunge, acceleration, boost. Okay, so we want to keep this up. We want to have this so we don't get randomly attacked by some random fishy. Because I'd rather not get attacked by some random dude. Some random fishy. All right, let's go into the map. Uh, we are the closest to being finished with here. So let's just fast travel here to the uh, Golden Shores. Knock out a few things. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll knock out a few things. And... Yeah. <laughs> As coastal communities face ecological collapse and ruin, it's still reassuring to know you can get in your 18 holes. <laughs> I believe it's in here. I'm going the right way. I think so. Yeah. Whoa. That was weird. That was also weird. Why not you? That's the real question. I'm not doing anything. You don't have to scream. I'm just a fish. I'm just a talking sponge is all. Alright, that's not good. Alright, so it's over there. Uh, do we have to go through here? The catfish proves no match for this. I mean, why, why, why not? Fury of the okay, hang on. Let's go through here first. Destroy this grate. So we can move on with the rest of what we're doing. And then go. Here. Nope here it's there no, 
I gotta go through here. La 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 la. La la la. La la. Uh, so then how? That's a great question. Ooh, I wish. Thank you. I think we go. Oh, hello! So we finished the uh, the last the the final boss of the game. So now I'm just going through and collecting everything. Oh, hey, yeah, you get to Kaiish. This shark is Beautiful. a sort of super scavenger. So we completed uh, completed Golden Shores. We completed the Bayou. We can get this one real quick. I'm really not looking forward to getting all the license plates and junk, but we're gonna. Uh, what time is it? It's almost 12. Is a novel driver for okay. Of if this takes la uh, longer than, we'll say, 12.30, my time, which is about half hour from now, uh, then we're just not gonna complete this tonight, and we're gonna move on to the next game. I mean, it's just collecting things at this point, so we don't really need to be too, too focused. Lost an entire bottle of baby lotion. Wow. Congrats, actually. That's actually kind of impressive. Catfish are bottom So in eating them, sharks consume quite a variety of revolting and unmentionable things. <laughs> I wish they made a, uh, a reference to the, the trailer house in Monsters, Inc. Uh, where the Pizza Planet truck is parked. Uh, also the trailer house from Bugs Life, but, you know. Uh, I wish they made a reference to that in this game. I think we go this way. Go this way. Great up there. That's great. Get it? Yeah. It's up there. I believe this takes us back. Nope. Yeah, it's up there. I love how they got the movement for the shark like completely down. Like a, I think a shark would move somewhat in this kind of way. I think this is somewhat realistic. Oh, you found it though. All right, cool. The shark uses lizards from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. All right, we're almost done here. Cool, things are going good. So I found out something very interesting about uh, about Jaws, and it's it's more of the. Uh, the like in-universe lore and junk behind it and uh i think it's like novel like stuff only in uh stuff from the book and whatever where did he go where where'd it go right, it's gone i guess all right uh, yeah, so, um, I guess in, uh, Jaws, the books at least, I'm pretty sure the person said this in the books, and more interesting than the fact that it has Jaws. Yes, actually, very more, much more interesting. Uh, so, uh, the person in the video discussing this, uh, I believe he said it was in the, uh, in the books. Uh, I don't know 100%. I have not read the books yet. Uh, I was told that it's just a lot of, like, weird filler and stuff. So I might not, actually. I don't know. But somebody correct me if I'm wrong. It was either in the books or, like, an original draft for the movie. I don't know. 
but uh something like that but it turns out uh the shark in the second movie was the uh the mate of the shark from the first movie and so the third movie was kind of like a uh just a random shark i guess that just happened to be there uh no connection to the two other sharks or the uh the brodies in any way and so uh the shark in the second movie i guess gave birth to the shark that was in the fourth movie and because both his parents were killed that's why it's the revenge dun dun so I thought that was very interesting. So. We can either get stuck on a loading screen or we can finish this or we can get all the collectibles or this would run until 1230. Uh, either way, if we get stuck on another loading screen, I'll just end the stream. I don't know why it does this all the time, but it does. So. We'll see what happens. We'll see after a bit if it gets stuck. And if it does, we'll just end the stream. That's no big deal. Well, I'm thinking about ending the stream soon anyway, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I think we're going to be stuck on this loading screen. I think it's just going to take like an extra few seconds just to be a jerk. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to end the stream. All right. So because of the loading screen, I'm going to end the stream. <laughs> uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We got through the game. Woo! Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see either uh, Bioshock, Dead Island, probably the Logan campaign of Dead Island, uh, Dying Light, or Borderlands 2. I'm leaning more towards Bioshock or... Uh, I don't know. I'm leaning more towards Bioshock, I guess. But anyway, that's going to be it for the stream. I hope y'all enjoyed. I had a lot of fun going through this game. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.